These aren't your kids. No, are you in labor soon? Can you sign up for like 8 a.m.? Because I'm not interested right now. I'd like to go to sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. And then you got three over here who I really thought I was getting ready to go in for the night because it's about nine o'clock in the evening and she is in labor and she's pregnant with three or four at least from what we could see in the ultrasound and she is as big of, as big as a whale. So it looks like it's going to be a rather long evening for me, but we will keep an eye on number three. Well, friends, I am so sorry that you missed this one. I've been watching her. I've been stressing out about her for months because I know she at least has two, if not three, more in there. Let me tell you what, I was not expecting this ginormous monster of a buck to be the first one out. And it has me a little worried because he's yellow. And whenever they come out dyed yellow, that means that um, they've pooped in their sack and so they're under stress. And so, and he was actually what I really, really wanted to show you, but I didn't want her to suffer, and I didn't. Wow, he has a split sack like I've never seen. Huh, look at that. Um, but, but I did it, uh, when I walked out here, that's, I actually was watching her on the camera because I wanted to give her space because she's a really good mama, but... Lo and behold, I caught her on the camera with the head sticking out, and um, that can be really bad news bears, especially with a really big kid like he is, because the problem is once they get um, once they get the head out, then they can get their shoulders locked in the pelvis because they don't have that hook to help if they're a really wide kid, and he's a pretty stout dude. What am I looking for? Um, so yeah, when does he go away? So, but he's here, he's huge, and she is not done. I know she's not done. Um, so, uh, this will probably be one. I'll try to give her some space, um, but I I don't. There's just a lot of kids in there. Watch out, mom. And I don't want to leave anybody behind, and so. I may end up doing some pulling. You did so good! Um, just to make sure everybody gets out okay. Because, like I said, on her ultra sh ultrasound, it for sure showed... Um, go get up! Oh my goodness. It for sure showed three, but I want to say it actually showed four. So that's why, I mean, she's as big as a whale, like I said. Um, so, I'm glad I got out here in time. I really, I, I thought about taking a second to videotape it, but I just didn't want him, him and her to suffer. So, sorry you missed it, folks. But I would rather get everybody here safe as a priority. So, I know you yipping. I can't remember if I just said this a second ago. My mind gets kind of fuzzy. Um, but what happens, it, it's not just that their shoulders can lock when the head comes out first and it's a big kid, but what can also happen is if they are stuck in that position with the head outside of the vagina, but everything else still in, it can cause um, fluids to really build in the face of the baby. and then it really is hard because you have a huge puffy face in the way trying to maneuver the shoulders and the legs through and it's just it's not fun when the head comes out like that first and gets stuck so because she actually did this to me last year and that kid looked looked like a like a puffer fish aren't they called a puffer fish um yeah so oh he's already sucking on her and you're such a good mama i know Look at him go. What a good baby. You're such a good mom. I know. You're so good. You do such good work. Yes, let's 
get this one up and roll in. Go poop out your own baby. Go on. What are you? I don't think you're close yet. Oh, oh, maybe you are. Oh. Well, excuse me. You weren't close this morning. Go on. Go do something else, Liz. stressing over this damn goat thinking she had four kids because that's what the ultrasound showed and she's just got two big kids so I guess that's just how it goes Lizzie okay I'm gonna have to put you in a pen no you're not gonna run them over you're gonna go somewhere else these are not your babies no you go have your own babies no Lizzie you've lost your damn mind goat oh see three's one of my favorites she's such a good mom and they're doing good, and Lizzie's lost her damn mind. Lizzie, go do something else. These aren't your babies. Go have your babies. I'm up anyway. Go have babies. But she's, you just still look pregnant. I've never done the bump. Well, I don't know what I'm feeling for. Is there something else in there? Is that something? I just don't know. I thought we saw three. I'm just at a loss. But you have two ginormous babies, so maybe one of them absorbed, I guess. That's not impossible. I'll have to show you guys. You can't see me. I'll have to show you guys when this butt kid gets older. We're going to weather him anyway, but he truly has a split nut sack. I've never, he has a split scrotum. I've never seen it before. Um, I've, I've heard of it, and I've seen it with other goats, but we've never had it here at the farm. And yeah, his he has no pigment, and his, he has a pretty solid B split on his uh, scrotum. So interesting. 
<laughs> well, these two are just doing splendidly. I mean, they're sucking great. They went right to the to the teat. Um, they're just, they're perfect. She always has just perfect kids. Lizzie's lost her mind. So I'm going to say she'll probably go in the next 12 hours because she actually let three's little doe kid nurse off her. So I'm going to say that she's probably pretty close or she's actually gone crazy. So, but no, these guys, this is definitely, um, if it wasn't for them being so big, I may go inside her just one more time just to check because... Gosh, she's just so big still, and she's not really the kind to be like that, so so I just want to make sure. But I guess it is possible that a fetus could have absorbed. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with these two, though. They are big and beautiful. They're doing good. Super happy with these guys.